الصفر كونوا معنا في مفاتيح النجاح نكون معكم لتقديم دروس وتمارين في مختلف المواد متابعة شيقة Hi everybody, I hope you are all fine. Today's mission is to cover sequence three in your program, which deals with giving advice and instructing. And the first lesson is giving advice and instructing as it is shown. And it is divided into two parts. Part A, giving advice, part two, instructing. Let's move. What does this picture represent? This man is sneezing. He may have a flu. What advice can you give him? I advise him to wear a mask. Number two, he should wear a mask. Number three, he shouldn't sneeze without protecting his mouth and nose. He should see a doctor. We have two pictures. Number one, today, all over the world, people wear masks. Number two, people protect themselves from coronavirus, as it is shown here. People should wear masks to protect themselves from coronavirus. So the grammatical structure is set here, where we have subject should plus them. The same thing. We have two pictures. We have shaking hands and the people and the people who are gathering. In sentence one we have people shake hands. Sentence number two, people meet at public places. So here we are going to advise. People should not shake hands when they meet at public places. The grammatical structure here is subject plus should not plus them. And we have should not is a synonym to shouldn't, which is the contraction for. Let's go to the task. Task one. Write should or should not. Sentence number one. People dots consider the virus very seriously sentence number two they dots travel whenever they want sentence number three they dots wash their hands as often as possible sentence four the family members dots share the same eating utensils the key answers sentence number one People should consider the virus very seriously. In sentence number two, they should not travel whenever they want. In sentence three, they should wash their hands as often as possible. The last sentence, the family members should not share the same eating utensils. Let's move to the second part, which is instructing. In instructing, we use the imperative, do and don't. As well as we have three pictures. We have Algeria, the chart of Algeria, coronavirus, and the symbol of danger. Instructions for preventing the spread of coronavirus. We have two sentences. And here we have a doctor. Stay at home. The second sentence, don't go out. For instructions, we use the imperative. And the imperative, it, it, it deals with instructions, orders, and so on. When, in, when we instruct, we expect of the receiver to do what we advise him or what we show him. And we have, of course, two forms of instructions. We have the positive form and the negative. Let's see 
the positive imperative. It's formed of stem plus the rest of the sentence. The example is, stay at home. Negative imperative, we have don't plus stem plus the rest of the sentence. The example is, don't go out. Of course, as usual, we have to see a task. The task is classify the following actions. Action number one, drink much water. Number two, be in contact with the infected people. Number three, keep a distance in the supermarket. Sentence four, pay visits to old people. Sentence number five, hug people. Sentence number six, shake hands. Number seven, clean your environment. Number eight, wash your hands frequently. Number nine, take the public transportations. Number 10, and it is the last one, use hand sanitizer. Of course, you classify these actions in the following chart, do, do and don't. I give you a moment to think of it. For the key answers, we have do and don't. Let's start with do. Number one, drink much water. It means do this action. Sentence three, keep a distance in the supermarket. Sentence number seven, clean your environment. Sentence eight, wash your hands. Sentence number 10, use hand sanitizer. Let's see, don't. These actions, it means you don't do. Don't be in contact with the infected people. This is sentence number two. Sentence four. Don't pay visits to old people. Sentence five. Don't hug people. Number six. Don't shake hands. And the last one, number nine, take the public transportations, which means don't take the public transportations. So, uh, for giving advice and instruction, this is the end, and I thank you all for your attention, wishing you good luck, uh, and we expect of you good results, inshallah. وبهذا نكون وصلنا إلى ختام عددنا لنهار اليوم ولأن حبكم فوق مستوى أي كلام ابقوا رائعين سلام